Portugal may best be known as a footballing nation nowadays, but cycling's popularity has been steadily growing again over recent years. The country has already produced a world champion, and its future also looks to be in good hands, thanks to the up-and-coming talents like Movistar's Nuno Bico and the national road race champion Ruben Guerreiro. That was a, a strange year last year with a lot of injuries, but then in nationals I got I got the jersey. It was really nice in my first year, and that the people come to the race to see the national champion of the the Notre Portuguese riding by all two teams, and uh, yeah, it's really nice to wear our name and the support of the the Portuguese people in the road. We have always good riders like uh, José Azevedo, who is director of Catusha, he did a couple of top 10 in Grand Tours. And then uh, Sérgio Paulinho, Olympic medalist in the uh, Olympic, uh, Olympic Games. And then, of course, uh, Rui Costa, world champion. Uh, then, I think now we have more guys in World, world Tour and more uh, young guys is coming up. So I think uh, we can be in a few years, a strong country in the cycling. And it's our first Portuguese win in the World Championships. Rui Costa will take the rainbow bands as the winner of the race. When uh, Rui Costa won the World Champion, it was a big motivation for us, and we are really proud in that moment, and uh, was, uh, I think, a next step. And we could believe that we can win a uh, the biggest races, not, not just in football. Football is the biggest thing here in, in Portugal, so when, if you start having good results in other kind of sports, I think the TV starts having more coverage of it, people start getting interested and, and more people start practicing it. So I think it's one of the cases. Since Rui was world champion, I think that the level in the juniors is up, the level in under 23 is up, because everybody wants to be the next Rui Costa. If you see Thiago Machado, it's basically the same generation or the same year, I'm not sure, as Rui. It's also an amazing bike rider. And then you got Nelson, which is every year a bit better in the world time trialing. And now there's a new generation coming up. We have, well, after Nelson, it's basically me and Ruben from Trek. Yeah, we are really good friends because uh, actually we are rivals in uh, cross country, size under 16. Yeah, I know him size 14, 15 years old. And the, our way was always together. He went uh, mountain bike, then we junior, we race together, different teams. Under 23, we race in Portugal. And then he comes for Movistar, I come to Trek Segafredo. So the relation is really nice. Yeah, I'm very proud of being like one of the, the, let's call it the successors of Rui Nelson and Thiago, but this is a hard task to do, you know, it's also, you need to feel proud, but you need to have your feet on the ground and also think, well, I need to work hard to be like them and to be like, we are the next in the line going up and trying to be the best of our country. So this is a big responsibility also. Another aspect helping Portuguese cycling to grow is its strong link with football. Major clubs like FC Porto, Sporting Club de Portugal and Boa Vista now run their own teams in the professional peloton. And those big clubs' popularity is helping to bring on board new fans in the process. Portuguese are the, the culture, they live for football. Hey, if your team loses, the next day you go to work with a bad face and you don't speak to anybody. It's ridic ridiculous, but it's true. And the good thing about these football clubs is that it makes that people only interested in football start getting also, oh, right, our club has a cycling team. Let's see Tour of Portugal, let's say. And so they come into the street, they go out and, or they see it on TV and this is really good for the growth of the, the, the cycling in Portugal because otherwise I don't think that they would find so many fans to it. This is really the good thing. Yeah, I'm really big fan of Befica. Actually, 
our rivals they have a football team, Sporting and Porto, we don't have. Uh, I hope they, they made the team next year. Every year there's one or two more continental teams growing up in the country and uh, well, that means they're if you have more teams, you also need to have riders in a good level to do it. And as 90% of the riders are Portuguese, that means the level is also getting up. So there are kids that are graduating from the under 23 ranks and that they deserve a spot in the big ranks. So this is pretty good. This is the sport growing up, but it's step by step. I think it, football will always have the, the highest place, the highest spot on people's heart. But cycling here in Portugal is getting to be hopefully number two in a few years.